Everyone, it's Miss Nuckus here with Bailey, who's taking quite a lovely nap. I miss you all so, so much, and I can't wait to see you guys soon. But until then, I figured we do book a day in my classroom, so I'd like to read you one of Bailey's favorite stories while she's here with me, called Bailey's Adventures in Petlandia. Bailey lived in Fairhaven and dreamt of being a star with her very own TV show and chauffeur-driven car. But being cute and furry made stardom rather tough, especially as the only words she knew were woof and rough. Feeling brave, she folded up her PJs and a flannel, along with some ideas for her Bailey YouTube channel. Fumbling in the darkness, she scrawled a doggy note, then kissed Sam and Tyler and went to get her coat. Scampering through the moonlit streets with thoughts of being wealthy, Bailey stopped beside a sign and thought, I'll take a selfie. Pulling out her eye bone, she posed and took a snap, then headed to the airport while squinting at her map. Bailey was excited because she'd never flown before, unless you count that time she slammed the laptop on her paw. And as the plane took off, she thought of A-list hounds and mutts while trying to squish her nose into a teeny bag of nuts. When Bailey got to Hollywood, she set up several meets, but most of them went wrong because she tinkled on the seats. And even though she tried her best, the top dogs weren't impressed. We've seen your act before, kid, and look how you're dressed. With failure after failure, Bailey's confidence was shrinking, but then she saw a saxophone, which kind of got her thinking. I need to learn some new tricks to really make me shine, and then I'll make some videos and post them all online. Meanwhile, back in Fairhaven, Sam found a note. My dad thinks she'll be famous? Oh, what a silly goat. But suddenly, Tyler looked up and saw Bailey on the news. She'd become an online superstar with 50 million views. It seems dogs can learn new tricks, Sam thought out loud, and Tyler started laughing. They both felt very proud. There was Bailey on a chat, sh chat show, tootling away, while teetering on a unicycle, doing dog ballet. Soon the world was going wild for Bailey's jolly tunes. You could even buy a storybook and see her in cartoons. She bought a doggy mansion and a limo and a yacht, and even met the president, and partied quite a lot. Other doggies lined up to shake Bailey by the paw, and scripts for pet-based movies came tumbling through the door. She'd sit and count her money while la lounging on her throne, but when she wasn't working, she'd often feel alone. Because she felt so lonely, Bailey bought more stuff, but even though she had it all, it was never quite enough. She tried some doggy yoga, which she thought might make her happy, but that just tied her up in knots and made her sore and snappy. But then suddenly it hit her as she chewed her oldest bone. What Bailey wanted most was to be snuggled back at home. Yes, she'd miss her fancy life, the palm trees and her chauffeur, but none of that compared to cuddling Sam on the sofa. Right? She called off all her concerts, she gave away her things, but all flights home were fully booked, so she clung to the wings. Hanging on for dear life as the plane took to the skies made Bailey think of tummy rat rubs and tears welled in her eyes. Soaring over Fairhaven, Bailey thought, I've had a hoop, but home is where the heart is, so I need a parachute. Fumbling in her suitcase, she found a sparkly gown, then used it as she leapt off to sort of slow her down. Tumbling through the fluffy clouds was really quite a rush. But Bailey had to slow down, or she'd be a doggy mush. Just then, she saw a mattress dumped upon a roof. So she steered herself towards it and landed with a woof. Jumping into Tyler's arms, Bailey cried with joy. Then Sam squeezed the squeaker in a squishy, squashy toy. Fame is pretty epic, but snuggling's the best, thought Bailey as she curled up to enjoy a well-earned rest. Miles away in Hollywood, Things were much the same, and countless pets arrived each day to search for wealth and fame. They often spoke about that dog who played the saxophone and how she left it all behind because she missed her home. But Bailey wasn't bothered that she'd given fame the shove because her trip had taught her that what really counts is love. The end.
I miss you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you. I hope to hear from some of you. Please feel free to talk to me at any time. Send me an email, message me on Remind or Class Dojo, or comment on this video. I miss you guys.